there's Mother Clanger in her garden. I wonder what she'll make of the strange creature. No, it's not very friendly, is it? Tiny tells Mother it's a strange music-eating thing. It seems to quite like the Clobusters. Old friends, perhaps? Ah, but of course it's much more interested in music. Oh dear, the creature's bag of music is so full it's stuck in the hole. Oh, just squeeze through. It's nearly supper time, so Mother has plenty of blue string pudding to spare. Ah, you can't beat having all the family around the table for supper. There's just enough for a family of walls. The iron chicken is most grateful. Major is right. The iron chicken has taken all the blue string pudding. <laughs> Oh dear, something appears to be the matter. Lots of things from the iron chicken's nest are floating in space. There's Tiny Clanger. She's teaching the music trees a new song. I have to say, it's very catchy. Even Major can't help singing along. It looks like they're preparing for a celebration. Oh, careful, Major. That was close. Ah, Granny's running low on wool. She's asked Small to fetch her some more. That should keep them out of trouble. Tiny is relieved that her tune is ready. It's a welcoming tune for the Hoots visit. But Granny's bunting won't be ready. She's completely run out of wool. Doesn't look like Small's plan has worked. Mother wants to know if Small has got Granny's wool. Small tells Mother that he sent the wall up through the curious tunnel. The clangers haven't come across a single ball. Small is so sorry. He should have brought the wall straight to Granny rather than playing. But where could the wool have got to? Oh my! What a time for the Hoot Planet to arrive. Yes, something up there doesn't sound right at all. Hmm, something's certainly amiss. Small wants Tiny to play louder. Even the singing flowers are getting in on the act. 
So that was Small's plan, to get the hoops to blow and blow until the balls of wool popped out. What a clever young clanger. Makes sense. The clangers were going to so much trouble because Little Hoot was coming to stay. You see, Small Clanger made a mistake, but he worked together with his family and friends to make things right. And thanks to him, everyone will remember the day Little Hoot came to visit. And everyone will remember the day it rained wool. There's Mother Clanger. She's come to get some water from the cloud. Hmm, but she can't see the cloud anywhere. Perhaps the iron chicken knows where the cloud is. <coughs> ah, the cloud's away visiting friends. Oh yes, his mother had forgotten about that. There's the cloud now. Back from its trip into outer space. Hmm, it looks a bit blue and it's shivering. I hope it's all right. Mother hopes it's all right, too. Oh, that's not water, it's... it's snow. That's new. Mother's never seen snow before. Mother thinks that Major needs to see this. More snow, and lots of it. Interesting, very interesting. Major's never seen snow before either. to know if the cloud can warm up in the soup dragon's soup well. What a good idea. I don't think Mother Clanger looks very keen about learning to skate. Oh yes, the cloud looks much better now. Now it's warmed up. What a kind suit dragon she is. Oh, very good. Look at them go. What style, what grace. Oh, 
up comes the cloud. Mother wants to know if the cloud is all okay now. And yes, it is. It's back to normal, thank goodness. Look, it's making raindrops again. Hold on, Mother needs those precious drops. Now it's time for everyone to warm up with some lovely soup. There, the Clangus planet. The perfect place to warm up if you're too cold. <laughs> and the perfect place for a hug if you want to say thank you. Quite right, too. Oh, and there's Mother Clanger, busy in her garden. What a lot of clippings she has. Granny Clanger's busy, too. How kind. She's knitted a little balaclava for a froglet. Two more balaclavas, please, Granny. Oh, I wonder who that could be. That looks like Major's new trolley. My word, how clever. Mother is most impressed. How kind indeed. Major has given the trolley to Mother as a present. It's perfect for the garden. It goes when you move the joystick and it's simple to steer. How very useful indeed. And now she's driving the trolley. Driving it over Major's foot. Ouch! Mother's very sorry indeed. Oh dear, it's a bit squashed. But Mother thinks that with a little rest, it'll be as right as rain. Major's having none of it. He's too busy to rest. I think rest is for the best. Mother's right. A cold step isn't the best place to rest. Oh, look. Good thinking, Mother Clanger. She's really got the hang of the trolley now. Everyone is most concerned and very interested in the new trolley. As Mother explains what happened, Major still thinks he's fine. What a kind thought. Granny has offered Major her puffball to sit on. Yes, best not touch. Major must relax and get better. Whilst everyone else gets on with their jobs. What a good idea. If Major needs help, he should just ring the bell. Oh, 
false alarm. Major's just practicing. Ah, that sounds like Major's bell. Poor Major can't relax. His foot aches too much. What a great idea, Tiny. A little light music always helps you relax. Tiny's gone to fetch the singing flowers. Good idea. A little reviving soup might help too. Small must get some right away. Right, to the garden. Major wants something to prop his foot up with, something soft. So Mother's going to get something. Oh, and there goes Small to get the soup. And here comes Major's footrest. Perfect. Now Major has everything he needs. Maybe not. Major's foot is a bit hot. He wants Mother to get his fan to cool it. <laughs> Granny's sympathetic, but she worries that everyone is helping Major, rather than doing their own jobs. Yes, Major might be a lot happier if he could do things for himself while he was relaxing. Ah, there's Major's fan. But what is Mother doing now? Curiouser and curiouser. Will you look at that? Yes, Major's trolley really is the perfect clanger carrier now. Ah, I see where this is going. Yes, stand well back. Major is a clanger trolley natural. Major thanks everyone for their help. And now everyone can get on with their jobs again. Major can't wait to help Mother gather her cuttings. Yes, sometimes we all need a little help with our busy lives. Major helped Mother with his invention, and Mother helped Major with hers. Three more balaclavas, please, Granny. There go Mother and Tiny in Major's rocket. Now they're on their way to find the iron chicken's nest. Yes, and the iron chicken too. Very good. 
Tiny is telling the Sky Moo to moo louder. Yes, follow the rocket to find the nest. The iron chicken tells the walls that supper won't be long. She's just got to get her nest back first. And Chicken has invited everyone to supper as a special thank you. <coughs> Mother's right. They will need more blue string pudding. And they're going to need a bigger pot. What an extraordinary night everyone has had. By working together as a family, the Clangers helped their friend the Iron Chicken and a stranded Sky Moon. What better excuse for a bit of supper? The soup dragon is introducing herself and her baby to the little plant. She's telling it that she makes soup. Lovely warm soup for the clangers. Ah! Two little leaves. How useful. Oh, goodness me. What an extraordinary flower. So shiny and bright and so full of new seeds. There they go, up and off into the starry sky. You know, sometimes we all feel shy, especially when things are new. But the more we learn about the world and the more friends we meet, the easier it is to feel braver. And when the time comes, who knows? We may just bloom into something really special. Here's Mother Clanger, watering the flowers in her garden. Hmm, this flower hasn't opened yet, but it looks like it's about to. Would you look at that? Mother thinks the flower looks wonderful. Phew! That was hair-raising stuff. Yes, Mother's idea was very clever. Now the Sky Moos can enjoy the flower without getting in the way. But Small is worried that the Sky Moos might never go home now. The Iron Chicken thinks she can help with that. And so the Iron Chicken carries Mother's flower through the cosmos, en route to the Sky Moose planet. What a nice gift from Mother Clanger. How funny. A smell the Clangers didn't like was loved by the Sky Moose. Isn't it nice that we like different things? Tiny wants to join in. And now the Hoot planet has arrived. Oh, 
oh look, Major and Mother Clanger are dancing. Glow buzzers too. Ah, what beautiful music. likes the sound of the machine when the iron chicken plays it. What a good idea. The iron chicken wants to take it home with her. And the iron chicken's very pleased that all the clangers are happy for her to have it. There she goes, back to her nest with the mysterious noise machine. And what a curious machine it turned out to be. It just needed the right player to play it and turn the noise into music. Well, will you look at that? It's hatching. And there's the baby tin bird. The baby bird likes pecking too, just like its mum. <laughs> Time to learn how to fly, baby bird. There she goes, the tin bird with her new baby. How wonderful to have a new baby. And how wonderful to have it on such a kind and welcoming and comfy place as the Clangers' planet. Here come the others. It seems they've had a very nice trip to the stars. Now Mother's keen to see if the little ones are all right. Oh, yes, everyone's just fine. <laughs> Mother wants to know if the iron chicken enjoyed looking after the little ones. <laughs> yes, says the iron chicken. In fact, it was the little ones who looked after her. As I say, it's good to have someone to look after you when you're young and small. And sometimes it's good to have someone to look after you even when you're big and grown up, too. Mother has found the perfect thing. Ah, and it seems Major has another idea. And this time it's a good one. It's been quite a day for Major. He tried his very best to get everyone talking to one another, wherever they were, but they all got a bit confused and upset. So, how lovely that the chatterboxes are now bringing everyone together, happily, in music and dance. Look, here's a sky moon just in time for some delicious clippings from Mother's garden. The poor Sky Moo doesn't sound very happy, though. Well, will you look at that? Tiny found a sharp stone in its foot how kind of them both to help it. Oh, indeed. I think they're going to get along. Yes, what a heartwarming sight, all together, as they should be. Yes, all friends together. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Well done, Major. It's bubble fun for everyone. <coughs> Granny thinks the Iron Chicken herself would be very impressed. <coughs> Mother says it's now getting very late indeed. It's time for Tiny and Small to go to bed. Tiny thanks the soup dragon for going to so much trouble to make her smile. La, 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 la. She's made Tiny very happy indeed. <coughs> it's Mother. <coughs> Goodbye, good friends. Thank you.